Hello, and welcome to another Tech Tip video. My name is Leo Lavayan, Senior Civil Specialist with Imagineer Technologies. In this video, we will be looking at converting some old LAN desktop points into civil 3D points. The command is found from the Home tab, the Create Data panel, the Points Flyout. It's an easy command to use as the command will sense any civil 3D object and convert it. There is a catch. Civil 3D will only convert data that is available on that LAN desktop object, not just necessarily what is visible. That is, if it's missing elevation or description data in the embedded objects, there will be nothing to show in the converted Civil 3D point. Let's jump right into Civil 3D and check this out. I already have a drawing open here. You will notice that I do have a couple point groups, but in general, I appear as having no Civil 3D points readily available. On screen, I do have a series of points that I can take a look at, and I can work with them. Going into the properties of this particular point, I'll be able to notice that it does show off as a LAN desktop AECC point, the old formatting for them. What we're going to do here is easily convert uh, some of this monumentation that I see over here, some centerline shots, I have uh, quite a bit of roadway going on on this side, what it looks like and have Civil 3D convert this information into design data that I can use inside of Civil 3D. Let's take a look at this. I will go over here to the Home tab, the Create Ground Data panel. Under the Points flyout here, I will leverage a command to convert LAN desktop points. The command auto senses any LAN desktop points on my screen here. I do have options to configure and change, which I'm not going to do anything with. If I wanted to even create a point group, I can. Notice I do not have the option of selecting points. It auto senses them. As I go ahead and click OK, it finds them and converts them. And see here how the serum lines have now converted. How the text looks pretty uniform. And the rope is shown here. Now, in this particular drawing, I didn't do anything special. We can use point groups and we can use description keys to manipulate what we have. It's that easy though. Over here, I do have a no display point group. If I so desired, I can go in here and refresh my point group or update my point groups, excuse me. And if I wanted to, I can resort my point groups. I only have a no display. I can bring this to the top, bring it to the bottom and choose to turn points on and off. I can use point groups to control what I see inside of the software here, but I could also use civil 3D configuration to display what I want to. There are some monumentation points in here I can process. Description keys work just as, as they always do once it is a civil 3D point. Under my point collection here, you'll notice that I have no description keys. Let's create a brand new description key here. And let's create some codes. I'm going to create one code here, one for monumentation. I can stylize this. Let's put uh, the one style that I have here as my example. As you guys notice, uh, the software does not do anything special. When you create description keys, you still have to process them. You can have description keys readily available in your template. In our case here, I just created a handful of them and I'm gonna process all of my points here. I will choose to apply description keys to everyone and you'll see how monumentation, I get a little symbol there now. If you wanna use point groups, we can. Let's take a look at creating a point group for what looks like the roadway here. Having not worked with the surveyor, all I can see is that there are some numeric codes here that I would leverage. I'm taking a wild guess here. I'm going to create a brand new point group. And let's use what we see on the screen here. I'm going to call these roadway. And I will include by method of, let's see here, the raw description of 54, what looks like an edge of pavement or maybe a lane, uh, a serum line, which looks like point number 45. And that's uh, along with a, maybe a point 52 here, maybe some sidewalk or some edges. It builds up a list of points for me. And yes, I can then see it. If I want to organize these points and only show what I have here, I do have a previously created point group that I can go here and uh, manage this list here. Let me go to the point group properties and I'll bring no display just above roadway. And it isolates that set of points there for me. As I want to here, what I can also do is create a surface. I will create a surface here and I'll leverage that point group just to see how we're able to use these converted LAN desktop points, I would feed that point group here into my surface. And I'm going to go down here to point groups and add it for roadway. And you see how it creates triangulation there for me. 
looks kind of dense here in the middle. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to go here to my object viewer. It looks like there's a crazy drop in elevation. When I converted the points, some of them did have a point number. They had descriptions, but it looks like some of them did not have an elevation value working to them. So I can see here on screen, this crazy drop is because the surface is going down to a much lower elevation. But that's just a quick way of working with Civil 3D and the old LAN desktop points from maybe older projects that you maybe uh, have access to. Thank you for watching. Make sure to visit our website for more Autodesk related content to engineering and design.